previously on Cradle. And now. Okay. So, we need to follow Grandpa Batjen's instructions to open our parents' chests and fix an attachment to the flashlight. Hopefully this object here is the attachment it's talking about. And these have got to be the chests. So, where is a flashlight? No. Oh, there's a flashlight. So, let's see if this works. Great. Now we got a flashlight. Read the parable from the book under the altar. Find Batjen's grave not far from the yurt. Use the flashlight and the clue from the parable to find a key to the chests. Okay. So... Is the Pure white flames burn so brightly so blindingly that it pains the eyes to behold it. Pure white flame. Okay. Yeah, we read this before. This is about the girl who followed the sun and the moon. Sun and the moon, sun and the moon, alternating. So, that's the clue, I guess. A wise clue. And I believe I came across his grave earlier as well. I think that's it right there with the s sticks with some uh, bindings between them. Yeah. yeah. He died at around age 69. Okay, so let's use our flashlight. Oh. Okay, so sun, moon. In the story, I think she followed the sun first and then alternated as they each rose, so we'll do that as well. Okay, so then the moon. Don't remember how many times she did that. Okay, sun. Moon? What? Who am I? Said so that must be the question I've been looking for. So, this thing? Mongolian Post. Epistolary Communication Terminal, number 905. Date of last cartridge load, July 1st, 2058. Ooh, here you'll find the answer to your question. Who am I? That's right, Inabish. Who am I? It is the question that leads to the secret of your past. You are but a step away from unraveling the mystery from the ancient mystifying events whose meaning I never did grasp till the end of my days. Perhaps only you are destined to reveal their divine plan. I promised you a key to the chests that store your parents' belongings. The key is before you, and with it I passed to you that which I had guarded in my memory for many years. Okay. Yes, the things in the chests belong to Zombel and Sarne. However, these people are not your parents or even your relatives. They had a son of their own once, but he had died in that explosion under the dome. He was five years old, and his name was Chagati. Several days after the explosion, a golden eagle arrived here, carrying a human infant. He set the child down on the ground in front of the yurt. You were that infant, Inavish. Who you are and where you come from, I do not know. From that day, the home of my late son became a haven for you and Ongots. 
I was not repulsed by the strange appearance of your bodies. You mean the holes that are in our chests? Who am I to pass judgment on Providence? This may came a month later when Chagati's features on your face became unmistakable. Goodbye forever, your grandfather Botjan. Okay. So, that's strange. Empty envelope. Key. Is that the key to the chest then? I would suppose so. Okay, so let's open this sucker. Yeah. Can I get up? Oh. So... Come on. Come on out. Is that a saddle? Of some sort? Um, an old television? Magazines, more magazines. Oh, it's very heavy. I need to remove the stuff that's inside to move it. Okay, um, a radio. Oh, I'm actually got a hold of the chest. Okay, goodbye. So this one wasn't even locked. I just couldn't pick that one up to get to it. Um, looks like a label machine or something. Toys. What am I looking for? There's a picture of the family who I'm apparently not actually a member of. Oh, is it these? Packs of letters. One correspondence mentions Mark and Ida. I've already written you about him. He works nearby at the station. Well, a few years back, he'd met a girl. He says they saw each other only once in a company of friends. And somehow, the way she looked at him, he's been dreaming of that moment ever since. Mark speaks of some strange sensation called the Babylonian Effect and that the entire institute is studying it the present. Zombel and I laughed in return. The sensation is totally normal, Mark. We studied it thoroughly a long time ago. Kick your science to the curb and go to Ida before she gets her body replaced. Okay. So it's all the same thing. Oh, new task. Speak with Ida. All right. I found it. You and Mark had met once before. Yes, I already know. I remembered it. Uh, Mark recalled a special moment. Mark was recalling some kind of special moment. Nothing so special that it stayed with me. Except maybe there was this strange sensation. A sensation? Yes. Sometimes I get a peculiar feeling. It somehow resembles anxiety, but only partially. I can't really describe it. It is a sad, pleasant feeling. I had felt it again that particular evening, and... And what? Anabish. I'm about to shut oh, down. Oh no. Wait. We're not done figuring out your past. And we won't. I am out of time. I received a message from whom from my neurochip only the neurochip writes in red letters i'm being informed that it is self-destructive know what i can do what split myself in two okay what do you mean when i shut down my upper half will split from my legs why why i have no clue that's just how my body works. I can show you. Watch. Wait, don't. Ida, listen. I'm listening. Maybe there's still a way to fix everything. Fix everything? Well, there is a way. 
If you can travel to the past and pass four digits to Professor Koch, that would fix everything. Fix. Everything. Okay. So... Why are you in pieces? So I can't put you in my inventory. Saw machine. Huh. Okay, what's the new task? It What? Edith's neural copy is destroyed. You can bring Edith to her senses by aiming an electrical discharge at the nerve plexus on her back. Take Edith to a powerful source of electricity. Okay, we'll put her back together too. Wish we could put her in my inventory. So, where's a powerful source of electricity at? The garden, I'm assuming? Yeah, lightning's a pretty powerful source of electricity. Alright, so it wouldn't let me use the transport. I'm going to have to run the way. Okay. So... Uh... Secure her in a vertical position at the center of the ruined flower bed. Okay, what ruined flower bed? Where is the flower bed? Oh, is it here in this sphere? New task. Reanimate Ida with an electric cable. Okay, let's put her back together, please. You're not gonna let me, are you? Darn it. I don't like seeing her like that. Here's an electrical cable. Okay, oh! Okay. Did I do it at the wrong time and get struck by lightning? Seems like it. Okay. Well, give it to me, please. Again. Okay. Well, I've got to stick it in her back. Where do I stick it? Okay, there. Good. Come on. Let's wait for a lightning strike. Okay, good. Now I should be okay to pick the thing up. Well, stop jumping. Alright, come on. Okay. Are you alright? to wait for a lightning strike, I guess. What are you doing here, Ongots? Oh, yeah, that was a lightning strike. I got hit by a couple of those myself. Hello? Are you there? Ida. I'm here. How do you feel? Strange. Strange? In what way? Describe your state. I feel... anxious. That's good. Good? 
Yes. Just don't shut down. Look at me. Why? I'll explain everything later. sphere. So is that sphere in the garden one of those contamination spheres we read about? They said nobody could enter that and come back out. We had no problem with it. Yeah.
Okay, so... That ending wasn't really satisfying to me, so... I did some research to try to figure out exactly what was going on. Um, I know that we... Th that it showed her giving the 3513 code to the doctor, apparently. But... A lot of the messages of this game seem to be really esoteric. Uh, you gotta have some specialized knowledge. A lot of it is based on um, Buddhist and Hindu religions. Um, in that, apparently, there was a few pieces of information we missed, but even if we'd have found them all, it wouldn't have been made completely clear unless you had that specialized knowledge. Uh, apparently, Inabish is an reincarnation of Mark, the operator who died in the dome where Ida was working. And um, he was uh, reincarnated through Buddha and was able to grow quickly and, and all of that. And that apparently goes back to uh, another legend with that involves Ongots with a child being brought with a golden eagle. And I'm sorry if I get into of this wrong. I'm by no means an expert on this. This is just what I found in the research that I did. Um, and then the cubes in the puzzles uh, that seemed kind of out of place for the game are actually a, a reference to a Hindu legend uh, wherein Shiva and Vishnu, I believe, were playing a game with 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 blocks so I don't know I mean I, I can understand why they would make something like this and uh, it's it's beautiful graphically it's just with me and not having that knowledge and whatnot I think it missed an emotional connection that it was clearly trying to uh, trying to hit so I don't know if they could have been a little bit more blunt with what was going on or thrown some more information uh, in there here and there to kind of make the story a little bit clearer and apparently the number 3513 is uh, from a quantum theory involving human consciousness and going back to I was throughout this game I was really disturbed by the uh, the beauty and ugliness references and apparently they were intending to show that uh, that people focusing on beauty and you know the first thing they, that they see they immediately assign you a value based on your appearance that they're trying to show that it's a bad thing and that by going back and giving this number these things can be stopped and realized but I, I didn't really ever see anything with within the game where they um, condemned the the stress on beauty and ugliness, and perhaps if if we had known what we needed to know to understand the rest of the game, that that would have been more obvious to us. I, I don't really know. I'm just going to leave it as what it is. Um, it's it's definitely beautiful. The music is lovely, but. I don't know, it just leaves me feeling kind of hollow, like it could have been more than what it was. I don't know. But I hope that you have enjoyed this playthrough. Uh, if not, that's fine, I can totally understand. But join us next time when we will be playing some other game that is at this moment not known. And until then, be Excellent to each other.